This lesson will show how to use the Desmos matrix calculator to solve a system of three equations with three unknowns using a matrix equation. Looking at the three equations, they are in standard form, meaning the x, y, and z terms are on the left and the constants are on the right, but also notice how the second and third equations are missing terms. So let's rewrite the system of equations so that the coefficients of the x, y, and z terms are more obvious. Let's write the first equation as 3x minus 1y minus 1z equals zero. Notice the second equation is missing the z term. Let's write the second equation as 1x plus 1y plus 0z equals five. And notice how the third equation is missing the y term. Let's write the third equation as 2x plus 0y minus 3z equals two. In this form, it'll be much easier to write the matrix equation because it'll be easier to identify the coefficients for all the terms in all three equations. So to write the matrix equation, we begin with the coefficient matrix, where the coefficients of x, y, and z from each equation give us the elements in a row. So we have a three by three coefficient matrix, where the first row from equation one is three, negative one, negative one. From the second equation, the second row is one, one, zero. And the third row from the third equation is two, zero, negative three. And then we have times the variable matrix, which is a three by one matrix. The variables are x, y, and z, which are the elements in the three by one matrix. Equals, on the right we have a three by one matrix. The elements are the constants on the right side of the equation, which are zero, five, and two. So now we have our matrix equation. Looking at our notes, this equation is in the form of A, where matrix A is the coefficient matrix times matrix X, which is the variable matrix, equals matrix B, which is the constant matrix. And now we want to solve this matrix equation for matrix X. To do this, we find A inverse and perform the matrix multiplication on both sides, A inverse times A times x is equal to a inverse times b. a inverse times a is equal to the identity matrix identified by capital I, giving us I times x equals a inverse times b. I times x is equal to x, giving us x equals a inverse times b. Now we're going to go to the Desmos matrix calculator, enter matrix A, matrix B, and determine A inverse times B, which will give us the solution. Remember, matrix X is really the three by one matrix where the elements are X, Y, and Z. And this is equal to, again, A inverse times B. So now going to the Desmos matrix calculator, let's first clear all, and now we'll enter matrix A, click new matrix, change the dimensions to three by three, and enter the elements. Three, right arrow, negative one, right arrow, and so on. After the last element, press enter. Let's double check these entries. Looks good. And now let's enter matrix B, which is the constant matrix, which is a three by one matrix. Click new matrix, change the number of rows to three, number of columns to one, and enter the elements, zero, right arrow, five, right arrow, two, enter. And now let's calculate A inverse times B. Press A, the inverse key, B, enter. Notice how we're getting decimal values for the elements. This is okay here because they are terminating, meaning these are exact values in decimal form. However, if we did want the exact values in fraction form, we can click on the circle here on the far right, which is the convert to fraction button and now we have the exact values in fraction form. So in this case, it's fine to use either the fraction form or the decimal form, again, because the decimals are exact because they terminate. If they were rounded here, though, we would want to use the exact values in fraction form. Because the decimals do terminate, I'll go ahead and use the exact values in decimal form. We have 1.3, 3.7, and 0 0.2.
which indicates the solution is x equals 1.3, y equals 3.7, and z is equal to 0 0.2. The solution is often expressed as an ordered triple, which should be in parentheses 1.3 comma 3.7 comma 0 0.2. Before we go, let's verify this does satisfy all three equations by substituting 1.3 for x, 3.7 for y, and 0 0.2 for z. Let's do this using the calculator. To save some time, I've already performed the substitutions, but notice how we can see the ordered triple does satisfy the first, second, and third equations, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.